this is Amanda with Bellamano Designs. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I am going to be um, showing how I made a bunch of teacher cards just so that I can put some back in my stash. Um, I ended up die cutting a bunch of pieces and ended up with, um, oh gosh, how many cards here? Looks like I have seven or eight and then I have a bunch more pieces for other cards. Um, this little process of gluing all these pieces in is really relaxing and, and fun to do. Um, I chose a bunch of patterned papers from, uh, most of these are from Doodlebug Designs, the school day pad. And then I also chose some solid colors as well, just to, um, throw in a little bit of some solid colors with all the prints. Um, so once I cut everything out using the, uh, die from Lawn Fawn, the, um, and I forget what this one is called, um, the speech bubble backdrop, that's right. I cut all of them out from the pattern paper and from the solid, had all my pieces, and then I chose some critters from two sets, the Peekaboo Pets from Avery L. that's this one right here. These are really cute because you can put the little animals uh, on images and then they have their little paws that you can kind of have them peeking over whatever you want them to be in or on. So I thought it would be really cute to have these little animals kind of peeking out of the speech bubble. So I chose these and I used a couple others from a Lawn Fawn set. Um, because I didn't quite have enough animals and I could have duplicated them no problem but I wanted to have a variety and they were super fun to color too really relaxing and I didn't do a whole lot of um anything real fancy I just put shading where I thought there'd be shading where parts of the images touch one another or hang overhang like the head of the elephant here overhangs over its body so there would be a little shadow underneath that and I tried to put my colors there to the left so you could at least see what I was using these uh, elephant here I used the C, C1, C2, C3 and then a little bit of pink I believe RV10 for the ears but I colored all my images and once they're all colored, I'm going to cut them out with the coordinating dies. And I actually stamped a couple extra and kind of played with the colors because um, I didn't I didn't quite like the first round that I did. Some of the like the elephant turned out really cute, and I like the hedgehog, but um, the first time I colored the cat, it uh, it just didn't work. So. Um, but that's okay. I have to remind myself to just stamp multiple images and just practice. Because sometimes the first time I color, you know, it'll come out looking really, you know, like, oh yeah, that looks really good. And then sometimes I'll be like, man, that is not what I pictured. So it's nice to have a couple images duplicates. And see, here's a duplicate right here. And that way you can just practice, um, you know, different colors, different shadings, different combinations. So I started, even though I use a Copic friendly ink, sometimes when I use a lighter Copic color, when I start coloring them right away, it will um, bleed, the ink will bleed. So I started heating the uh, panel after I ink it just so that uh, make sure that ink is nice and dry before I color it so it doesn't smudge because I've ruined some images before um, coloring them you know too soon and the ink is smudged so I really like how this little um, this little guy turned out and I am so blanking on what this thing is a sloth that's right it's a sloth so 
I cut out all the images with the coordinating dies. And this is one set where it's really nice to have the coordinating dies to cut them out. Because there's so many little pieces. There's the little heads and then each one of them has paws to go with it. So I have all my images cut out here. And I try to put things back where they're at, like all my little magnetic, um, the dies back on the uh, little sheet here because I've had to go searching on my floor and even in my trash can for little pieces that I have um, missed. So I, I try to try to be good about putting things back so that way things don't get stuck and tossed. All right, and those two on the right, the elephant and the little sloth, are actually from the uh, lawn fawn. And those I don't have coordinating dice, uh, but they were pretty easy to fussy cut. And see, I have all my backgrounds, and I just kind of played around with what um, colors, you know, either patterned or solid would work with each of the backgrounds, and I just glued everything down. I glued glued the speech bubble backdrop down first and then I just fit in all those little pieces um one by one glued them in and uh I don't know it, it was I enjoy doing little piecing like this inlay inlay die cutting is what it's called I it's it's kind of fun to do so now that I have my animals uh put on the cards that I want I decided to add some sentiments to the front. This one says, thanks for being awesome. So it kind of looks like the little elephant is uh, saying thanks for being awesome because it's in the speech bubble. Um, the little elephant, it, the set makes it so that you can cut where his arms are and the body and kind of tuck his body behind the speech bubble and then have his little arms hanging over. So that's how that set from Lawn Fawn and this little like Otter here is from Averiel, the little peekaboo pets. You can just tuck the body into the the uh, speech bubble and then put those little feet on the top. They're super cute. They have a lot of little animals and monsters and things like that. And I think they're really cute uh, to play with. And this one I put thanks for being awesome as well on that speech bubble. And then I added best teacher on some of them because I thought it needed just another little sentiment. But there's a sheep and here's the dog one and that sloth one turned out really cute too. There's that otter and the hedgehog and the elephant and then the kitty cat. So I have a bunch of cards and then like I said I had tons more pieces that I can make more cards with and then I can just keep them in my stash for when I need cards for my kids as uh, teachers. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thanks so much for stopping by. We'll see you next time.